today we will take <coughs> numericals on the c clamp design so let us take first example design a c clamp frame for a total clamping force of 20 kN the cross section of the frame is rectangular with the relation b is equal to 2t the distance between the load line and the neutral axis is 120 mm and the gap between the forces is 120 180 mm the frame is made up of cast steel with the permissible tensile stress of 100 MPa. <coughs> so in this example, the load is given, that is W, 20 kN, convert into Newton, that is 20 into 10 raised to 3 Newton. Then <coughs> the frame is rectangular and the relation is given with dimension B is equal to 2T. So we will take here the cross section rectangular with dimension T and B. The distance between load line and the neutral axis, the load line and the neutral axis, that means eccentricity is given E is equal to 120 mm. And the gap between <coughs> the forces 180 mm. The frame is made of cast steel with permissible tensile stress. That means sigma t is 100 MPa. That is 100 Newton per mm square. Eccentricity is 120 mm. Now we have to find out B and T. <coughs> now due to this load, eccentric load, 20 kN, the frame is subjected to combined direct stress and the bending stress. So, due to eccentric load, the frame is subjected to direct stress and bending stress. <coughs> Therefore, our first step, let calculate direct stress. Direct stress, that is sigma D is equal to W upon A. So W is 20 into 10 raised to 3. Area of rectangular B into T. So by using B is equal to 2T relation, it becomes 20 into 10 raised to 3 upon 2T into T. By simplification, we will get 10 into 10 raised to 3 upon T square. Let us take this is first equation. Now, <clears throat> let us calculate bending stress, bending stress sigma b by using moment equation m upon i is equal to sigma b upon y max. So, this sigma b is equal to m into y max upon i. Now calculate m separately, y max separately and i separately or put direct value in this equation. So sigma b is equal to m is w into eccentricity that means <coughs> this w into perpendicular distance w into e y max y max means the distance of the outer fiber from the neutral axis that is b by 2 upon i i for rectangular cross section it is 1 upon 12 b cube into t now using relation b is equal to 2t this becomes this becomes 2t cube so w into e into b is equal to 2t so 2t upon 
2 upon 1 upon 12 to t cube into t. <coughs> So, this becomes sigma b is equal to, w is 20 into 10 raised to 3 into 120 into 2t two by 2, means only t, t upon 1 upon 12 into 8t cube into t. So by simplification, sigma b is equal to 12 into 20 into 10 raised to 3 into 120 upon 8t cube. <coughs> Let us take this is second equation or we will simplify and calculate this. We will get answer twelve into twenty into ten raised to three into one twenty divided by eight. So it is thirty six into ten raised to five upon t cube. Let us take this as second equation. <coughs> now we will calculate resultant stress. Resultant stress sigma r is equal to sigma d plus sigma b. So put value sigma d and sigma b. Sigma r is equal to. <coughs> now sigma r is sigma t. Therefore sigma t is 100. 100 MPa. So it is 100 is equal to sigma d is 10 into 10 raised to 3 upon t square plus 36 into 10 raised to 5 upon t cube. Now take LCM t cube. So multiply this 10 into 10 raised to 3 by t. So 10 into 10 raised to 3 t plus 36 into 10 raised to 5. Therefore, now t cube, 100 t cube is equal to 10 into 10 raised to 3 t plus 36 into 10 raised to 5. Then make <coughs> a polynomial equation or first divide 100 on both sides. So it becomes t cube is equal to 100 t plus 36 36 th minus 36,000 36,000 is equal to 0. Now this equation we can solve by the prior and error methods or by using calculator directly. So this is the polynomial equation with degree 3. So on calculator <coughs> a is equal to 1, b is equal to t square term is missing so b is equal to 0, c is minus 100 and d is minus 36,000. By using calculator <coughs> mode 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 we will get equation so take one equation unknown we don't uh, require unknown so we will take degree by putting a mode now degree is 3 now we to ask a value that is 1 then second value b that is 0 then c value is minus 100. Now D is minus 36,000. So our T value is 34.02 
mm so latest roundup is by 35 mm now the relation b is equal to 2t so b becomes 2 into 35 that is 70 mm so this example of c clamp with rectangular cross section if this c clamp made up of <coughs> circular cross section then i will replace with the moment of inertia by the circular cross section so this way we can calculate the dimensions of c clamp 